My name is Dr. JC Lowen. I'm a clinical neuroscientist here at Cognitive FX. My experience with autonomic nervous system dysregulation as a clinical neuroscientist comes from many of my patients. For example, one individual demonstrated symptoms that included both constipation and diarrhea, both feeling very hot and very cold, issues with a feeling of pressure in their head, and blue fingers and toes. This particular patient, despite seeing over a dozen different specialists, couldn't find the source of her symptoms until she came to Cognitive FX, where the autonomic nervous system was found to be the culprit. The autonomic nervous system is a collection of neurons and pathways that control automatic processes in the body. These range from blood pressure, vasoconstriction and vasodilation, heartbeat, heart rate, gastrointestinal function, and others. The complexity of autonomic nervous system dysfunction is that it can present in so many different ways. Because the ANS controls things from heart rate to gastrointestinal function, that means you can end up with a range of symptoms. For example, issues with blood pressure control, either having moments of hypotension or hypertension. Issues with gastrointestinal function, like constipation and or diarrhea, or others including headache. The connection between the autonomic nervous system and concussion is complex. With trauma to the neurons in the brain and brain stem, you can often have immediate effects on the autonomic nervous system, which is controlled by areas in both. This can sometimes lead to immediate issues after injury, but not always. Not all people with persistent post-concussion symptoms will also have autonomic nervous system symptoms. However, it is important to note that autonomic nervous system symptoms can exacerbate other types of post-concussion symptoms. Patients experiencing autonomic nervous system symptoms may come across a lot of challenges. For example, one sign of ANS dysregulation is intolerance to exercise. While exercise may induce symptoms, it's very important to keep exercising, even if it's subsymptomatic or keeping the intensity below what would cause symptoms. As far as how to get treatment for it, the medical field is not well prepared to treat dysautonomia, as it's called. However, our approach at CFX is a directed combination of physical and behavioral exercises to rebalance the autonomic nervous system and how it responds to cognitive and physical activity. If these symptoms resonate with you, or if you found this video helpful, please like and or subscribe. For more in-depth information on the topic we discussed today, please click on the link in the description below. Thank you.